Pula 1 New Mexico City are working to change a long time state to law to protect children that may end up abandoned. They hope to help desperate moms surrender their newborns in a safer and easier manner. News 13's Jamie Seymour shows us how the change could save lives. Good morning, Jamie. Crystal, good morning. The safe haven law allows a mom to surrender their newborn to a first responder. But a proposed amendment would mean they could instead place their baby in a special box anonymously. The baby is cared for, and the mother never has to come face to face with anyone. In Espanola, sometimes we're paralyzed by not knowing when to start and when to intervene. They're working to answer those questions when it comes to helping the community's children, starting at birth, focusing specifically on the safe haven law. So it's a law that that's already out there, but. A lot of people don't know about it. A baby 90 days or younger can be dropped off to a firefighter, officer, or hospital worker, and the mom will not be charged with abandonment, reducing the chance of an unwanted baby ending up dead. The safe haven resolution is a great opportunity for us to bring kids uh, into the world and to also recognize that the moms who are doing it, we really need to commend them and not condemn them. However, they say it's a law rarely used in the community. They're hoping to change that, passing a city resolution to raise awareness that this is an option and it's okay. This is something that's near and dear to my heart because I was adopted and I would like to thank my mother for actually doing the right thing and giving me up. The Espanola community also hopes to make a difference through this law at the state level, working to amend the safe haven law during this legislative session. We're trying to amend it to include safe haven baby boxes, so the mothers just have a different option. Attached to a public building like a firehouse, the boxes are temperature regulated and signal a silent alarm for nearby first responders when a baby is placed inside. This is something that's um, non-judgmental and it's not a bad choice. A choice that could mean a better life for a new baby. When Espanola was considering doing the safe haven resolution, a baby was found in the trash. That helped escalate getting the resolution onto the city council's agenda. Crystal, back to you. Thanks so much for that update, Jamie. Safe haven baby boxes are only in a couple of states right now. They say they've had dozens of legal safe haven surrenders. Rick Hopes that be, that becomes the case rather here in New Mexico as well.